2024, why Oshumole dance naked in the market square? Wednesday's unprovoked attack on Dr. Aswe Godalo, candidate of the People's Democratic Party PDP, in the September 21st governorship election by Adams Oshumole, the All Progressive Congress APC leader in Edo State, on national television, is to say the least a most despicable thing to do. It can best be described as dancing naked in the market square by a supposed by a supposedly elder statement. Oshumole, driven by the combined forces of fear and frustration, exhibited an uncanny hatred for Igodalo as if he was on a personal vendetta against the boardroom guru. In his ill-advised TV appearance, he cast aspersion on the person and integrity of Igodalo with a view to tarnish, to tarnishing his unassailable pedigree and hardened reputation. But alas, Oshomali failed woefully. Not even the anchors of the popular program cared to buy the rotten stories he was hawking, not to talk of the viewers. Since his misadventure on the prime time TV show, the question has been flying around is, why did Oshomale choose to dance naked in the market square even at his age? Why did he choose to throw shame and decency out of the window and show the world wrinkled and flaccidly parts? If you are one of those asking the questions, here are the reasons. Oshomole and indeed the APC are mortally afraid of Igodalo. Therefore, Oshomole's actions on TV were born out of extreme fear. If you noticed, he was terribly agitated, uncomfortable, and visibly panicky as he tried to deliver on his job schedule. Oshomole knows his party, the APC, knows too that Igodalo is a nemesis in the forthcoming le- election. They have to come to terms with that reality, and that is why every one of the spokespersons of the APC has been charged to try and damage Igodalo's reputation. Unfortunately for them, the more they try, the harder they fail. And why not? Oshomole and the APC ought to be afraid of Igodalu. They have reasons to be afraid. Igodalu parades an intimidating CV that Oshomole's party candidate, Senator Monde Opebolo, does not have even one cent of. Oshomole and the APC should be afraid because the level of popularity and acceptance Igodalu has been enjoying is simply confounding to them. Oshomole and APC should be afraid because Igodalu has a master plan the pathway to prosperity for all as a manifesto which is not just ready but already unveiled and shared to everyone to read and know exactly what Igodalo is talking about. The candidate Opebolo has none, not even a sentence jotted down anywhere in the name of a manifesto. They are afraid because while the manifesto of Igodalo is all over the place, the APC candidate is hiding from the media and hiding from the people. And from his hideout, he has been quoted as saying he does not need a manifesto to govern Edo State. What a lame alibi from an empty mind bereft of ideas and the intellectual rigor to properly articulate and espouse the same. This is, indi- this is indicative of a vacuous and untested mind. Importantly, it was a confirmation that he was never ready for Edo State and Edo State would not wait for him or accept the half-baked bread that he is. Oshomole during the show of shame on national television displayed poor anger and frustration management skills or exhibiting gross ignorance of what the courts have been dealing with. Oshomole danced naked in the market square because of his party. The APC fielded what he called what he himself called a slow engine candidate. A candidate described variously by sundry writers and analysts as mute, vacuous, dull, empty, uninspiring, hiding, absconditus, and a social hermit. Who wants such a fellow for a governor of Edo State? People by highly in by highly social, intellectual, intellectually mobile and generally well enlightened lots. With an unsellable candidate like Opebolo, there's every reason for Oshomole to be afraid of Igodalo. He is simply the nemesis.
and the APC has decided to make the peddling of lies and propaganda as their only official campaign strategy. But Igodalo is focused on his vision and dream for Edo State. He would not be distracted by the barking of an old and self adulating individual, nor is he ready to trade a third world state to a first world sub-sovereign sub state in Nigeria. These distractions are at best the howling noises of the enemies of Edo people. Oshomole may as well continue to dance naked in a market square for whatever he thinks it is worth. Edo people will decide his fate and that of Opebolo on September 21st. Well, what are your opinions on this? Make sure to leave your own opinions in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And make sure to share this video with your family.